this is quite possibly, oh, excuse the wheel sound, this is quite possibly one of the most requested videos I've had so far on F1 2018. And as you can probably tell by the title, we are going to be exploring Paul Ricard and its many, many layouts on the F1 2018 game today. Really, really looking forward to this. Sort of a bit of a different video uh, coming this evening, obviously, is the third upload of the day. If you've missed out on the double upload already of F1 2018 career mode, I would highly, highly recommend going back and checking out both of those videos on the whole as well as obviously just a huge huge thank you for all the support on the channel so far we've just hit 80 uh, sorry 8500 subscribers even on the channel as well so absolutely phenomenal you know i can't honestly words cannot describe you know the um, the insane amount of support that we've received so far on this game but yeah tonight what we're going to do then is we are going to be exploring Paul Ricard slash making our own version of Paul Ricard. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive around the circuit and then sort of find different different ways around the circuit as well. And then we'll try to make our sort of ultimate Paul Ricard meme circuit on the whole. Obviously, if you guys go to enjoy that and you want to test out the ultimate meme version of this track as well, you know, if, if you can, like, record a video or something of it as well, then obviously link it to me on Twitter at Matt, uh, at Matt212YT as well. But let's go out then. We're driving the Red Bull today. I know I can sometimes get some complaints from you guys about how I don't drive enough different cars. Generally, I've sort of used the Mercedes for things like this. So we're going to try the Red Bull out tonight. Actually, the first time I've driven this Red Bull since I got a media copy of the game. But coming into the lap then, all fairly simple. Obviously, I, at the time of doing this, I have already recorded the F1 2018 career mode video. So obviously, that is all... Uh, done by now as well. But yeah, breaking then down in towards time one. The first question is can we cut the track? Can we go down here? No. No, we cannot now, I'm afraid. I did actually test that out as well before we got into this. Unfortunately, you cannot cut, like, through the circuit down over there. But we're going to try and go this way then. Obviously, the other way is where the normal layout goes. We've got two options here. We can either go straight down there Obviously a very, very fast lane, but obviously that is far too dangerous for the FIA. So what we're going to do is we're going to come through here then. Is there any other combinations? There is one just down here, but obviously that takes us over to the other part of the circuit. Yeah, so unfortunately it does reset us there. So we've, we've decided our turn one of the ultimate Paul Ricard Grand Prix layout. You know, we we'll come through here. Unfortunately, not too many combinations as you come through this bit. This corner sort of weirdly very, very tight on the whole there. But yeah, uh, people were requesting I do a David Attenborough voice. Unfortunately, at the moment, if you haven't been able to tell already or if this is your first time watching this channel, I've got a bit of a sore throat at the moment. I've had a bit of a cold recently, which means that not only can I barely do my own voice, you know, I can barely you know, imitate another one as well. So unfortunately, all these layouts at the moment, all the ones on this side of the track are all just, you know, impossible to get down. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go uh, right here even, through this bit here, and then we're gonna clip the apex there. This is gonna be like the weirdest, stupidest thing. And we're gonna go through there. Then we're gonna, we're gonna take the normal layout just up this bit there. So that'll certainly give your arms a bit of a workout if you're on the winner. I don't think there's any other combinations just up here on the hole, if I'm not mistaken. No. Oh, there is. There's a different way up there. We'll, we'll take that little line over that corner there. Can we go... Where does this way go? This is really interesting. I take it we won't be able to get through. No, unfortunately not there. So, sadly, Cody's going to have sort of patched up our poor Ricard on the whole there. But that still doesn't mean, you know, we don't have a chance to try and go a little bit crazy with this circuit anyway there. So unfortunately, yeah, not as many combinations as I would have liked, you know, this sort of just a bit of an exploration video on the whole. Coming through here, where does this way go? It is just a straight corner cut rather than going around there then. So yeah, I think we're already back at the start of the track. This hasn't gone as well as I hoped in all honesty. Uh, is there any, there's no, there's nothing else sort of over there then. So we've already come up with the ultimate poor Ricard circuit, then we'll try to go for a bit of a flying lap. Coming down 
that front straight and over the start finish line. So we've got to obviously a little bit of a longer run through so we're gonna have to go through uh, these things through like that and then through the first apex like that. Yes, we're running a little bit wide on the exit of the corner there as we now break down in the next couple of corners. Try and get the front end nicely turned in. Obviously, much easier to do in the Red Bull than in, well, especially the Williams that obviously I drive for Karim, and then out on to the back straight here. See, so obviously, not cycling it all the way up into eighth gear there. Unfortunately, as I said, can't use any of the lanes down this side, although it really looks like you should be able to do that. Breaking them down in towards, well, quite possibly the stupidest part of the track I think I could have ever made there as you go through the double hairpin corner there and then out through the normal chicane. Well, I say normal chicane, it's now a chicane once again there, but yeah, we've so far. Actually, you know, so far this lap hasn't been all too bad as we come now up. Make sure, obviously, you don't take the normal line. You've got to break just a tiny bit, I imagine. Click the apex there just like that. And then down in through these next couple of corners. And really just carry some, so much momentum through here. Take a little bit of a different line through this corner. We run a little bit wide there. That was not a particularly good line through there then. But yeah, we'll, we'll do a little bit more exploration than a poor car sort of just go to some weird funny little places around here what's around here unfortunately that's just a tile there i wonder if we can get can we get behind it maybe i don't know let's have a look no we cannot it appears that's a bit unfortunate you know it would have been quite funny if we've been able to find some sort of exploration glitch around here but yeah i sort of fancy as well doing like a poor Ricard corner cut lap as well, which, well, uh, I think, you know, some people might call it the Tim and Mardic lap around Paul the Ricard there, obviously. How about that one? Three then. These first couple of corners, we're going to use all of the blue runoff area there, straight over there, down in towards turn, well, I say turn, I don't know what number it is there, but it's, well, not really the same number that it would be nowadays there, through there quite nicely obviously i don't know why i didn't just cut that bit just a, a little bit more we're gonna try and well obviously just go straight over this next chicane as well here you spend a lot of the lap now basically flat out because it's pretty much an oval in many ways you know you sort of just go up one end turn around and then go all the way back down the other it's how you generally describe an oval map as we come through a long flight oh actually we can use all the track space out here breaking there down in through these next couple of corners, try to cut the corner as best as possible around this arm. Go quite tightly there. So as you can see, we're on, well, we're 16 seconds up already. We'll be able to straight line over here as well. <laughs> it's just ridiculous what it can do around here. It's going to be a 1 minute 9.9. .9. We did a sub 77 lap around here. Can we go for a bit of an improvement though? We'll, have, we'll, do, we'll give it one more go. See what we can do. Obviously, you didn't like cut the track as best as I would have liked. Gonna try and take a really wide line through there, run it nice and wide on the exit of the corner as well. The back end trying to kick out there. We're another eight seconds up. We could potentially sub one minute for Ricard here. That's that's gonna be a challenge now, isn't it? Can anyone sub one minute for Ricard? That's definitely gonna have to be another video, unless obviously we do it now somehow. So you see. Actually, no, it's because the timing is slightly out, isn't it? So it, it might be a couple of seconds up, and it might not be as much as I'd originally hoped. Unfortunately, I think I've already done a TT lap. Yeah, obviously around here when I did the backwards versus forwards lap. And through these next couple of corners, then. Well, that's F1 2018 banner destroyed. Trying to use all of the track space there. Like Monaco, you've got to drive wall to wall. As we cut over the final couple of chicanes, what time's it gonna be? It's gonna be a 1091. So we did find another eight tenths of a second there, but yeah, we'll, we'll calm it down again. Calm it down. As we try and go through here. Yeah, it just doesn't let you do it, does it? Can you do it potentially backwards though? So, like, is it like just obviously once you get to a certain point, it just re obviously resets you? Gloss over that terrible driving by myself. Well, let's try it. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll go backwards around the track, and you know, where there's that cut just before the hair thing. We'll try to go through there. 
Ante just, it's quite weird, obviously, just going around. Or a card like this gets close to the wall there. Don't destroy the Rolex sign. Here it is. Can we go through? No. They've ruined our fun. They need to, like, what we need on Time Trial is, like, a different version of Paul Ricard that way, you know, you can just like, go anyway. Like, they need to make Paul, Paul Ricard Battle Royale would be absolutely fantastic here. Yeah. Uh, that, Cody, if you're listening to this, Paul Ricard Battle Royale would be absolutely incredible on the whole. I've come up with a new game mode for F1 2019 to try and keep it fresh. You know, everyone, career mode will be old by then, F1 2019, or a car battle royale. Can you imagine that around some of the different F1s though? That'd be absolutely insane. Can we do it though once again? No, we can't. Unfortunately, it does just reset you. Unless we can do some sort of like, weird trick on the wall, maybe? Can we try and sort of get around? No. Unfortunately, Paul Ricard does seem pretty patched up on the holder, which is... Very, very important. What's that? No, that's not a hole at all. That's a metal. That's a concrete block. Don't want to really hit that. What about up this side? Yeah. Paul Ricard is unfortunately quite well patched up on the F1 2018 game there. But yeah, what we're going to do then? One final lap around this circuit then, obviously. I was a little bit lost as to what I wanted to do. You know, a lot of you guys were saying to sort of do explore Paul Ricard. And unfortunately, you know, there isn't quite as much exploring as you'd like. But we'll, we'll do one more lap of the meme track once we get back around to the start line. You know, create your own Paul Ricard circuit on the whole there. That's actually quite a difficult point to try and get right. You, know, so you don't realise how much you need to break like that. But yeah, that's that's unfortunate on the whole though. I would have quite liked to, you know, have completely memed up Paul Ricard. But yeah, we'll, we'll go for one last lap then of my new version of... Paul Ricardino, you know, the F1 2019. I'm sure, well, um, I forgot his name now. That's terrible as I'm an F1 fan. Um, yeah, I'm sure that the bosses over at FOM will be watching this video and be thinking, this right here will be the perfect lap for Paul Ricard. I'm at a three minute lap time already. That's probably not quite ideal. Breaking down, clip the apex. That's not quite the run there, but you get the idea of where I intend to go. You know, obviously this bit of the track, all fairly normal, obviously, no real sort of combinations. I'm struggling to think how they have like 170 combinations around this circuit. And actually there's not many other ways round, sadly. So come out on to the back straight. Oh well. Now we go out onto the first of the back straights. Just coming down here. This Red Bull actually quite quick on the whole. We need to open ourselves up the run in towards well, just before the double hairpin corner there. Destroy the 100 meter ball. That is your, that's your clipping point there. Just try and get the car to around. It's like driving a bus through here. You can see how much crank I'm having to run. Kick the back end there. Just through there is obviously off circuit. No grip. Yeah, we're surviving so far then on this lap. We've made it through the worst middle sector of all time. And then we'll just come, come up here, clip the apex there. You can really, you can take a lot of curve there as well. It's not technically a curb on the whole. There, we're now breaking down into towards this next couple of corners. This is one of the only bits of the track that is shorter than the current layout. There, what a weird little tight corner. I must say, I actually like the normal layout around that bit as well. Then through in towards these final couple of corners then just breaking it nice and tidily on the whole run a little bit wide on the exit there but there we go then that has been a lap of memed up poor ricard as i said you know i really you know this video was so requested by you guys i really sort of wanted to do something like this on the whole on the channel you know something just a little bit different a little bit more sort of fun because obviously for most of you you will have pretty much just seen career mode on this channel so far and you know i do like to do sort of fun videos around that as well. Hopefully, you know, you guys will see if I end up doing F1 2018 road to rank 50 there. But as I said, yeah, but unfortunately we couldn't do everything we wanted there. Uh, you know, we came up with a new idea though. Uh, F1 Battle Royale Paul Ricard would be absolutely fantastic on the whole. But as I said, thank you all so much for the phenomenal support on the channel so far over the last couple of weeks. It's just been mind-blowing. I know, well, uh, just under a month ago from when these videos hopefully going out, the 26th of July was the first sort of After F1 Media Day was the first video uploaded. We have 3,800 subscribers then. And we're now at 8,500, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can hit 10k very, very soon as well. But yeah, as I said, thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you all just for watching any of the videos so far. 
If this is your first time here, as I said, hit that subscribe button. Help me get one step closer to 10k on the whole. But I will see you guys next time for career mode, I think, Italy, going up tomorrow morning.